Uh, as we get into this piece here, I want to talk about, uh, and I'll segment it uh, and talk about the, the, the progression that, that we take here at LSU uh, with our team and, and, and with our players in particular, right? And so the first piece is preparing the learner, right? And so coaching, what is it, right? You, you heard me say it already before, coaching is teaching. Uh, and, and there's a difference between coaching, right, and, and, and teaching rather than training, all right? We're not here trying to train our players, all right? That, that's not what we do. My, my, my goal every day is to teach, is to incorporate a, a, a long-term understanding uh, of what it is that they're doing. More importantly, I want my guys to understand the why they're in, in what they're doing, why it's important, how it affects the, 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 the big picture, uh, and, and more importantly, why it's important for them to do it right. Uh, I don't major in, in the training aspect, which is teaching short-term skills, uh, you know, that, that are applicable only for a short time. I want to lay a foundation for my players, uh, you know, where they're capable of, of applying any principle that, that, that we may teach them, right? And so from a philosophical standpoint, you can see here at the top, uh, the first thing that I strive to do is, is, is develop the ability for my guys to make critical decisions. Uh, we're, we're talking about, you know, a football play being anywhere from four to six seconds and my guys having the ability to critically think, to take chances, uh, and to have a sense of confidence in the decision that they're making based on their knowledge. I want to dis develop players who are interchangeable between uh, positions and sides. Well, I don't have a left tackle or a right guard of the program. I want guys that have position flexibility. When I go out and re recruit, I'm looking for guys who have the measurable, measurables and movement skills where they can play multiple positions. I don't want a, a uh, you know, exclusive, uh, you know, position in my room. And so that means guys have to have big picture awareness. They've got to know their their role in particular and then what's going on around them. And so that's a piece of our uh, philosophy here. Uh, we want to be able to adjust to, to uh, you know, uh, new fronts, pressures, uh, you know, uh, movement patterns, things that we may or may not have practiced a whole lot during the week. You know, here in the SEC, there's always going to be a curveball. There's going to be some third down pressure, uh, something that a, def uh, a defensive coordinator is going to do to attack us. And so I want my guys to have answers, and, and, you know, and, and, and not have to feel like they've got to start from scratch. OK, and then the, 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 the next two pieces here, right, is teaching our guys the tenets of of. Of, of scheme, making them understand, you know, what makes plays work, gap schemes, zone schemes, man schemes, uh, and, and making sure they understand the principles that, that follow those. Uh, and then the last piece is recall, right? The ability to, to call a play and our guys can execute it based on what the principle is. Okay. So